This is the FY30A from FoxTechFPV.com. It's a flight stabilization system that uses gyroscopes and accelerometers to make your plane fly like it's on rails. Here's what comes in the package, and here's all the stuff out of the box. This orange box is the FY30A itself, and over here, this is a vibration absorbing um, mount that you can mount it to um, to get rid of some, some of the vibration. And over here is a cable that goes from the FY30A to your receiver. And these are some sticky adhesives to mount it. Here are the instructions. Um, they're double-sided and they're very helpful and tell you all the information about the product. So here is the FY30A connected to my receiver. On the instruction sheet right here, it just tells you how to do that and tells you which pins um, are supposed to connect to what um, to plug it all in correctly. Here is the FY30A connected to the plane. Uh, as you can see here, the servos and the throttle plug into these ports on the right. Uh, the throttle plugs into it too. It doesn't actually, the FY30A doesn't actually do anything to the throttle signal, but that just powers the unit so that you don't have to use an external BEC, so that's a nice feature. So here we have the FY30A right there, mounted on my Micro Drone version 3. Um, and we've got a Spectrum VX7, as you can see. Control surfaces are working. This is just a three channel plane, so there's no rudder. We're not going to be using um, rudder today, uh, even though the FY30A is fully capable of doing um, rudder stabilization also, or yaw stabilization. So, as you can see, I've got control of elevator and aileron, and if you pick the plane up, you'll notice that there is no gyro movement going on. That is because the toggle switch on my radio that controls that, I'm using the gear switch. Um, is in the off position. So when I flip that on, it's now in stabilized mode. And as you can see, the ailerons, when I'm tilting the plane back and forth, the ailerons are moving to, cur to um, counteract that. Um, just same as the elevator. When I move it like this, you can see the elevator moving there to counteract that. And if I was using rudder, that would, that would work too. Um, but I'm not going to be using rudder just because I don't really have a plane with a rudder set up right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take this out to the field and fly it and see how it does and see how the FY30A performs um, in stabilizing this plane. It's got accelerometers and gyroscopes on the full stabilization mode, so that should make it pretty locked in. So we're going to go try it. So we're out here at the field and here's the micro drone um, and we have the FY30A on it. Notice how when I tilt the plane, uh, the aileron goes down and on that side it goes up and if you had gyros alone on the plane you tilt it and then the plane would come to a stop and that aileron would come back up but because of the accelerometers uh, the plane actually knows it's knows that it's sideways um, so it'll actually continue to try and correct that until it's back up and level and then the uh, aileron will go back to normal so notice how when I tilt it it's trying to correct it and it's normal and same with the other side so that's what the accelerometers do, and the same with the elevator and rudder, but we don't have rudder. Wow, it's pretty it's flying pretty pretty straight and it really works, huh? I'm just trying to stall right now. It you won't stall. Really? Yeah. So let me fly it.
So as you can see here, there was quite a bit of wind when I was flying this plane, probably uh, <coughs> six to nine mile an hour winds. And this little plane weighs about eight ounces with the battery and everything on it. And it flew like it was a hundred pound plane with tons of dihedral. It was super, super stable with the FY30A on it. And basically what the FY30A does is takes the direction of the plane and locks it in. So if your plane is going pointed this way, coming this direction, your plane won't move from wind gusts, it won't tip up and down because of th hitting thermals and stuff like that, and it won't yaw. Well, mine yawed because I don't have a rudder on it, but if you do have a rudder, you can just connect that to the FY30A and it'll keep all axes locked in. Now with the accelerometers, if your plane is in a dive and sideways like this, those accelerometers will bring the plane back level. So you can just let go of the sticks and your plane will automatically level itself. This is extremely useful if you're a beginner pilot um, because if you're in trouble you just let go of the sticks and the plane rights itself. Another thing that's awesome about it if you're a beginner is when you hit the switch that turns on the stability mode, um, the rates are less. So if you move the stick, it, the plane's not going to um, respond as much. And this is also extremely helpful if you're a beginner. This makes your flight a lot smoother and easier to fly. So that basically sums up the review of the FY30A. Um, I'm very pleased with the product. It has definitely done all that I ever wanted it to. Um, now I'm going to put it on my Skywalker here. Um, hopefully that'll take out some of the uh, shakiness in the video if I'm filming on like a windy day or something like that um, so yeah I'm very pleased with the product it's a really great product for the price and it does a lot for your plane in terms of stability and easiness to fly and if you have if you're using it to film video then it's basically a must-have for FPV or uh, like a uh, aerial photography plane so that's it thanks for watching uh, check out foxtechfpv.com to buy this product and adios.